What's good, YouTube? I'm your host, Dwan Lightfoot, and today we're talking everything you need to know to get Linux Plus certified. Okay, before we begin, I have to let you know that this video was sponsored by CompTIA. I'm on a journey to achieve and learn more about Linux. So CompTIA reached out to me about doing a video for the Linux Plus certification. I can totally relate how hard it is to achieve certifications. The time effort you went, you put in to, to study and then also the amount of money that you pay for the certification and the training. So during this journey, we'll be giving away a lot of CompTIA Linux Plus products to help you prepare for the certification. And even if you decide not to take the certification, you'll still have a chance to win prizes to learn more about Linux. So feel free to join the Slack channel. There's a chance to win there. And every Sunday, starting July 21st at 7 p.m. Central, I'll be going live on my YouTube channel sharing my journey and my progress as I prepare for the certification. Everything that I mentioned in the description below. But no further ado, let's talk more about Linux Plus. Alright, so this Linux Plus is now. If you all follow my channel, you know that I'm all about getting into the details of certifications and checking out the exam topics. So I'll have a link to everything that I talk about in this video in the description below. Now, let's actually check this out. Let's actually dive in to this certification to find what's actually going on. So the XK0-004, the launch date was in April 2nd, 2019. For those of you that are preparing for the previous Linux certification, I'll have a link right here where you can check out my boy Zach Hill over at IT Career Questions when he talks about the differences between the two and the improvements in this new certification compared to the old certification. But this video will be strictly about the new Linux Plus exam because that's what I'll be striving for. Now, the exam description. CompTIA Linux Plus validates the skills of IT professionals with hands-on experience configuring, monitoring, and supporting servers, running Linux operating systems. The new exam has an increased focus on the following topics. Security, kernel modules, storage and virtualization, device management at an enterprise level, Git and automation, networking and firewalls, server side and command line, server versus client-based coverage, troubleshooting, and SE Linux. This exam sounds loaded. This is really gonna impact my career directly, I believe, so we'll see. Now, the exam has 90 questions. That's a lot of questions, that's a lot of time. Let's see how much time we have. And the length of the test is 90 minutes. Yikes. Um, the type of questions is performance-based. Google, what's performance-based test? Performance-based assessment measures students' ability to apply the skills and knowledge learned from a unit or units of study. Typically, the task challenges the students to use their higher order thinking skills to create a product or complete a process. Hmm, interesting. We're gonna see, well, we'll see. I guess I'll have to ask CompTIA what that actually means. And I'll get back to you in another video or doing the live streams. Make sure you tune into the live stream. So you need a passing score of 720 on a scale of 100 to 900. Not bad. CompTIA recommends that you have the A+, the Network+, and 12 months of Linux admin experience. Yikes. I don't, I don't think I have 12 months of Linux admin experience. For transparency, I took a Linux course in college. So I do know a little bit about Linux, but... I don't think as in depth as this certification, so I, I'm sure that I'll learn a ton while I prepare for this cert. The languages that this exam is available in is English, Japanese, Port Portuguese, and Spanish, coming soon. The cost of the exam is $319. So for this CompTIA Linux Plus exam, I'll be using a number of resources. I'll share those resources here shortly, but before I do, along with these exam details, I'll leave a link to this page in the description, but go ahead and sign up for their exam practice questions and objectives. Whenever I take a certification, I always download the exam objectives. Now, once you do this sign up, they'll give you the practice questions for the exam. They'll look like this. You can go through this, which is pretty cool. Use these, make no cards of these questions. And then they'll give you these exam objectives. 
it tells you the percentages of the exam, how's everything's weighted, what, where you may need to focus, but this exam, more than most, seems pretty balanced. So it's kind of all over the place when it comes to preparing. Um, but then it goes in more detail under each section of what you actually need to understand and learn. And my recommendation is don't take the test until you can fully understand everything that's under the objectives. Okay, once I download those exam topics, what I normally do is I place them in OneNote. And that's where I keep all my notes to know that I fully have an understanding of the certification that I'm prepared for. So once they're in my OneNote, um, I create a page for each section. And on that page, what I'll do is I'll put each topic under that section and then I'll put all the subtopics under that and collapse them in my OneNote. And then I can just take notes in here and screenshots and everything I need to do in my OneNote. This is just a little tidbit for those of you that are preparing for certification to let you know how I actually prepare. If you want to know more about this, let me know in the comment section below and I'll and during my live streams, I'll share some of that information during the live stream. So before we go on on this exam objectives, I want to go down here and tell you what you actually need for the Linux Plus exam. CompTIA recommends that you have a laptop or desktop that supports virtualization. And if you know anything about Linux, understanding virtualization is a part of not only um, this exam, but it's a huge part of Linux. You got Docker, microservices, you got VMware, all of those applications and servers are some flavor of Linux. So they recommend that you have a laptop or desktop that supports virtualization. Then the network, a router, switch, and network adapter. That's interesting, but if you know anything about iOS, it's actually some flavor of Linux. Again, you need internet access. Of course, you need internet access for that. Um, spare parts, uh, a hard drive, USB stick, that could be for mounting drives to your Linux device. So I can see why you need that. Hardware, you need repository access, so that's internet access. You need PuTTY or some type of SSH client. Um, automation tools like Ansible or Puppet, Git, and virtualization software. So that could be like VM Player or v VirtualBox from Oracle, something like that. And then your recommended distros that you'll be covering in this exam is going to be CentOS, Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, and OpenSUSE. Interesting. Interesting. No Red Hat. But it does have CentOS, so we'll see. Maybe it does dive in the, into some Red Hat. We'll see. Either way, we'll check it out. And this, I'm excited for this. Now let's talk about some of the resources I'll be using for this exam. One of the resources that I'll be using is the CertMaster practice for Linux Plus. This is available on Android and iPhone. Basically, you can have your flashcards on the go, I believe. I haven't seen the app, I haven't used the resource yet, but I'll be using it during my live streams and I'll be using it to prepare for the certification. So if you're interested in seeing it in action, tune into my live streams because I'll be sharing every resource that I use during the live stream. So, and I'll be giving them away. So stay tuned. You can have a chance to just get it for free. Next is going to be the CertMaster Labs. CertMaster Labs is just what it sounds like. It's a virtualized Linux environment where you go in. It could be an Ubuntu environment. You're on a Ubuntu server and you have to perform labs while you're in this environment. So it'll have instructions on how you go step by step on, let's say, mounting a drive or you know, connecting to the internet or setting up your network adapter, something along those lines you'll be doing in this CertMaster Lab to help you prepare for not only your certification, but your job. Next on the list, the official CompTIA Linux Plus self place study guide exam book. This is an ebook that you can read through, follow along, have it on demand since it's an ebook. You can put it on your phone. You can put it on your laptop, you can put it on your tablet, whatever you have. This is an ebook to help you prepare for the Linux Plus. Last resource that I'll be using is the CompTIA Linux Plus Premier Labs Bundle. This thing is loaded because it comes not only with everything that I mentioned previously, but it also comes with an exam voucher. You buy this, you get all the resources that I mentioned before, plus an exam voucher and an exam retake. I'll be sharing this in the live stream. So tune in.
I hope to see you there. So I'm looking forward to this journey. I'm looking forward to learning more about Linux and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all. Links will be in the description. Join the Linux huddle, subscribe to my channel, tune into those live streams and look forward to those giveaways and live every day. I thank you all for viewing this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.